Guys, today in our uh, second video, I'm going to solve uh, October November 2018 paper 12 O level biology 5090. This is the paper one, which is a MCQ or multiple choice paper. I think we all know about that. Hopefully, okay. Anyway, so let's solve these questions. So let's see what question number one says. A cell is observed under a microscope. Which feature identifies it as a plant cell? So this is pretty simple and straightforward we know that uh, so let's see the options that the cell contains a single large sap vacuole okay this sap vacuole single large sap vacuole is a feature of a plant cell because if we see a plant cell a plant cell has a very large vacuole so that does identify it as a plant cell but let's look at the other options as well to uh, to see why a is the most accurate one here so in option B says the cell contains glucose and amino acids okay so it can also actually be an animal cell okay because this does not distinctly or uniquely identify it as a plant cell then it say the cell store has contains stored fat that can also be animal cell any other kind of cell the cell surface membrane is partially permeable you know cell membrane is present in both plants and animals so that's not going to give us any clear distinction that it's plant cell uniquely okay next it says which statement about diffusion are correct okay so molecules move from high higher to lower concentration yep that's correct so let's put a tick on top of it then occurs within living systems okay it can occur within living systems uh, that kind of makes sense but uh, it does not exclusively occur in living system because it says only occur in living system since it mentions the word only this means that this is going to be wrong because diffusion can take place between gases because if you guys have chemistry if you read about the kinetic particle theory there uh, wherever there is for example in a specific mixture whenever uh, there is a drop of dye it can spread all over the substance all over the mixture by the process of diffusion so it can also occur outside living systems so that's not true completely then it says it slows down as temperature increases that's completely wrong as temperature increases temperature increases kinetic energy of the molecules increases hence diffusion actually increases diffusion also increases so that's going to be wrong so b is a correct response this is right wrong, wrong. yep that completely satisfies our option choices okay let's see question number three the diagram shows a root hair cell and surrounding soil particles okay then it says osmosis occurs in regions of higher to lower concentration of water molecules separated by partially permeable membrane that's going to be the cell membrane we already know that so on this diagram which what are these regions so higher concentration of water then it says partially permeable membrane lower concentration of water so let's first identify the partially permeable membrane partially permeable is actually the second layer which is actually three the outer layer is this outer layer this outer layer is actually the cell wall and this internal layer is actually the cell membrane so the cell membrane as you know is a partially permeable because cell wall is fully permeable uh, that's basic knowledge so tree is a partially permeable membrane so tree we can see in these two options then it says higher concentration of water molecules so water will move like this this is the transport of water molecules so higher concentration of water molecules and lower concentration of water molecules in four there will be low concentration because water will enter into the cell like this then it will enter the cell vacuole which is actually the vacuole transport anyways so water enters into the cell through the partially permeable membrane from high concentration to low concentration and then here there is a higher concentration then it enters a vacuole from high concentration to low concentration so higher concentration is of course in one because here it's a ground it's a surrounding water obviously there is more water so water can enter by osmosis which is the high to low concentration trouble of water molecules and four is a low concentration because water enters into four and the higher concentration that's it so b is the correct response here so let's see question number four so what are enzymes 
fats that are secreted fats no enzymes are proteins you know fats again so both these options are wrong and since proteins act as biological catalysts of course that's a basic definition of enzyme proteins unaffected by temperature that's completely wrong because we know enzymes work as an optimum temperature and then gets denature if the temperature reaches very really higher value and inactive at lower temperature so that obviously depends on temperature but it says unaffected so that's wrong then question number five let's see so it says some organisms live at the bottom of the sea where it is very dark okay to synthesize glucose they use energy from chemicals in the very hot water that comes out of the volcanoes okay what is the distinguishing features of these organisms okay see it says that they actually leave when where it is very dark and then they they actually use energy from chemicals from the hot water that means they're very hot so what is the distinguishing features of these organisms okay let's read the options the enzymes are easily denatured by heat no that's going to be wrong because hot water if they were denatured by heat they could not survive there it says they do not need carbon dioxide there is no specific mention of this uh, thing that they do not require carbon dioxide it's not identified anywhere they do not need to be green of course that's a correct response because it says they actually to synthesize glucose they can use energy from chemicals in the hot water so this is actually chemosynthesis uh, uh, like photosynthesis this is these are autotrophs these organisms are autotrophs but they actually depend on chemicals for the energy source so they carry out chemosynthesis which is similar to photosynthesis but rather than light as photosynthesis uses of light these organisms use us chemicals to synthesize chemo means chemical synthesis is mainly over here referring to the synthesis of food molecules which is in other words glucose okay so that's obviously the answer c let's go to question number six it says an experiment is set up as shown the volume of gas collected is measured after 30 minutes okay this experiment is repeated several times each time the light intensity is increased okay which graph shows us this result this is a basic limiting factor graph if you know if you're familiar with this limiting factor graph so uh, uh photosynthesis we know these are just this kind of graphs okay so over here this is where the light intensity is being increasing and at this point this is called the saturation point saturation point where the light intensity is actually maximum uh, has reached a maximum value that means even when you increase the light intensity other factors become limiting such as the temperature or amount of chloroplast or any other kind of factors which become limiting as a result even in increasing light intensity the rate of uh, volume of gas reduced or the rate of photosynthesis uh, these plants carry out does not change anymore okay because the light intensity has already reached the maximum threshold level there are no more chloroplasts to actually absorb all this light energy or perhaps not enough uh, carbon dioxide present or anything like that any other factors okay and it says the diagram represents a cross section part of a leaf okay it says how does oxygen content at x compared to the normal atmospheric air when the leaf in the light and when it is in the dark so if we look at x this looks like uh, the gaps uh, between the spongy mesophyll layers air gaps okay so it says how does the oxygen content so oxygen content in the light will be higher this is because in the light uh, in the light the uh, the plant will photosynthesize and this will actually produce oxygen will be produced during photosynthesis carbon dioxide will be used up whereas in the dark this oxygen will be used up for the process of respiration as a result the oxygen content will be lower so A is a correct response here okay. then let's see question number eight it says what are the smaller basic units that make up glycogen and protein so glycogen as you know glycogen is actually uh, uh, glucose uh, glucose molecules join together to form glycogen granules because glycogen is a storage substance just like starch glycogen is an animal storage substance 
uh, present in the liver so glucose to glycogen by the presence of in uh, uh, presence of in uh, presence of hormones as we know you'll learn about this so that's obviously glucose and proteins are amino acids you know small uh, small amino acids joined together with peptide bonds to form protein molecules it sees the very first points here okay let's go to question number nine it says which pathway provides humans with most fiber roughage in the diet okay it says fiber or roughage in the diet so we are going to see which pathway so it's uh let's see these things so soya beans directly to humans that's going to be the answer because it's not passing through any other kind of trophic levels in in the middle it's directly going to the human so the human is consuming the most amount of fiber or roughage because mainly fiber comes from plant sources okay and soya beans is a plant source and that is rich in fiber or roughage and directly consumption of humans no passing through trophic levels that's the way people can actually or humans can actually obtain the most amount of roughage okay let's go to question number 10 how glands secrete different types of enzymes into part of the alimentary canal which allows digestion of proteins and starch it also receives alkaline secretions from another gland and contains muscles that are used in peristalsis which part of the alimentary canal is being described okay okay let's read through this once again the gland secretes different types of enzymes so that kind of makes you think about the pancreas okay in the alimentary canal which allows digestion of proteins and starch okay pancreas starts produce enzymes uh for uh kind of proteins and uh starch okay uh okay yep okay then it says let's see let's read more it also receives alkaline solution from another gland and contains muscles used for peristalsis okay now this thing kind of contradicts because the that doesn't contain the pancreas doesn't contain muscles and does not receive alkaline secretions from another gland so that kind of make me think like a is a correct response because this is the uh, duodenum this is from where it receives acidic chyme from the stomach and from the pancreas it receives the different kinds of enzymes okay so yeah so A is a correct response here, which is the duodenum. Okay, let's go to question number 11, which is a part of the small intestine, of course, A. <coughs> okay. okay. Then it says, what is not a function of transpiration? Okay. It says not a function, so that's an important aspect we need to take into consideration. So it causes minerals to travel up the plant, that's obviously a function of transpiration. It causes water to move up the roots through the leaves, that's a part of function of transpiration. It also gives the plant cool, yeah, that removes latent heat, that gives the plant cool, yeah. It receives, it helps to release energy in cells. Obviously, that's not a function of transpiration. Release energy in cells, that's respiration. Anyways, okay. Let's go to question number 12. It says the diagram shows part of a tree trunk, tree trunk. A ring of bark in clearing the phloem has been removed, okay. The tree will eventually die because removing the bark stops transport of okay since the phloem is being removed that solves the transport of actually amino acids or organic nutrients okay so b is the correct response organic nutrients to the salt because you know uh, the function of phloem is translocation since the phloem is removed translocation cannot take place so amino acids sucrose these substances cannot be transported so these are organic nutrients Number 13, it says which of these organs will receive blood from both artery and vein. Okay, it says both artery and vein. Okay, it says receive blood. The kidney does not receive blood from both artery and vein. So, kidney is wrong. The liver does because liver has a hepatic portal vein through which it can actually receive blood from the vein also it has got hepatic artery from which it can receive blood the lung is wrong so c is the correct response here okay let's go to number 14 number 14 says the diagram shows a section through the human heart uh, which suggests that the blood leaves the heart at different pressures uh, which suggests that the blood leaves the heart at different pressures and going to the lungs and to the body okay so you can see that d is a thicker wall left ventricle has a thicker wall so uh that kind of makes me like always uh, the obvious response to this kind of question so d is the response here it's kind of easy because wall t 
which is the left ventricle is thicker than the more muscular than the walls of you so as a result this can actually exert greater pressure on the blood because of the thicker walls so more pressure that means it can actually go around the body and circular to the body extremities because of higher pressure which is being applied to the blood by the help of the left ventricles okay. so let's go to question number 15 the diagram shows chemicals being exchanged between some cells and a body capillary what could be the identities of the chemicals p and q okay so p is going into the tissue or the cells as you can see and q is coming out so whatever goes into the cells are actually nutrients which are required such as oxygen and glucose so d gonna make sense already because it says oxygen and glucose and q is carbon dioxide and water which are produced during respiration and these are returning back to the blood because they're no longer required by the cell okay that's it for this video i'm going to solve the first 15 questions here i'm going to solve this last part of this paper in the next one thanks for watching